What's up, guys? Trick Diggers coming to you. Tuesday afternoon. Me, Corey Wellens, Jimmy Wellens, and my buddy Sean. They're, they're just now coming in from the other side of the river. Out here at the river dump today, we're going to be doing some uh, group digging. And I think we're going to open up a new area. So let me show you exactly what's going on here. Did you get the backpack fixed? Oh, uh, okay. Here comes Corey, his dad Jimmy, who's avid fisherman. He, you see, he brought his fishing pole, so he's probably gonna be taking a break to go fishing in a little bit. And my buddy Sean finally made it out here. We've invited him about 15 times, but this is the first time he's actually made it. <laughs> welcome, welcome, gentlemen, to the river dump. But I think what we're gonna do, guys, is we got about a 22 foot mound of dirt right here in front of us you can see if i walk up here our digging hole here where me and corey was somebody's been down in here corey yeah oh yeah Think so? yeah for sure somebody's been up in here digging sure. they didn't take nothing but yeah for sure look at your hole oh yeah somebody tried to open that back up uh-huh they didn't get nowhere though. no they didn't I mean, at least they left our tools and stuff alone, so can't get too mad. But I think what we're going to do, guys, is maybe either go upstream a couple yards. I think we, I say we go up. Or downstream a couple yards and start a new, poke a new hole into the side of the bank. We're going we're gonna to leave my hole alone for right now. And uh, relocate just right up here, I think we're going to do. We're gonna so we're going to grab all our stuff and we'll see you at the new location yeah it's me and sean's digging side by side you sure yeah. i don't right think the the top, no. it ain't a crock is it? is it yeah it looks like a crock a... i think it's a crock let's see yeah, it yeah it's full yeah. Yeah, it yeah heck yeah buddy yeah, look at that sean's first to strike guys he said take that you come over to my yeah, dump dig all my good man. stuff yeah. what's it say one, son. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Does it actually say something, Sean? I didn't think so. I was gonna take it Might and run. Be marked on the bottom. Something. That's something on the bottom there. No, nah, I don't think. I think it's just from the mold. That's pretty though. It's like a greenish color, like a green glaze. Yeah. Corey just pulled out a slick. You can see we're all working in a line, guys. Just taking the bank down. Nice find, brother. Sean's first on the board with a crop. See back? Guys, Sean's working right beside me. You can see my hole, his hole. He's got a, uh, looks like a Bislary wine in the hole right there. It's coming out. Here it comes. That's a whiskey, isn't it? Yeah, Faro China. Oh, yeah. Does it oh, say Bislary on the other side? Or, yeah, or? that's dark green. Yeah, it is. Dark olive green. Looks like a plied top. Way to go. Yeah, that's a nice one, brother. Heck yeah, Sean. He's got a crock and a, a, a Faro China on the board, guys. Nice. Good deal. Seize back on the next. Guys, check that out. I got some kind of weird stoneware glaze thing. It's going way up. Here it comes. Let's see what it is. Oh, it was broke. Dang, you nab it. I don't know what that was. Some kind of like Rockingham kind of pottery. Big giant vase or something like that. But broken. See back. here guys Corey just popped out a real nice west virginia soda kaiser bottling works at a kaiser west virginia no k on the, base, no k on the base yeah sweet fine brother let me hold that up in there real quick check that out guys kaiser bottling works nice fine heck yeah that's a pretty one man they've blown in mold soda i think that's the 
be like some kind of West Virginia hut. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're even whining up here, Croc, man. Look here, guys. I popped out a big, big Truett Drug Company prescription pharmacist out of Cumberland. Heck yeah. Two three-in-ones machine, uh, two three-in-one gun oils. A little tiny milk glass with a stopper and a little tiny Colgate bottle. A flower pot and a sharpened dome chemical bottle. And then up here, I got a nice bitter quill. Real nice green bitter quill mineral water. I popped out this really pretty bottle here. It's like a sunburst kind of brandy or something on it. Check that out, nice blown in mold. Pretty, pretty bottle. And then I got a Rigney maple syrup packers from New York, Brooklyn, New York. And a Chamberlain's cough remedy right there and a couple marbles so far. So we're all on the board, I think, except for Jimmy, but I think he's more or less fishing. <laughs> but all right, guys, let me get right back in here, clean my hole out and see what else comes out. Stay tuned for more. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I'll go ahead and go over the rundown real quick. Sean ended up with three marbles, two clays, and a nice shooter, a couple stoppers, a couple uh, buttons. What's that one say on it? Otis Neal Company out of Boston. That's cool. I ain't seen that one, Sean. Got a really pretty glass button. Check that out, guys. Black glass. You got a, I think it's bone. It's either bone or wood, some kind of washer or button. Very pretty. And then he ended up with this tag, which we think might be some kind of Civil War World tag. War I, or World War One. you can see like the ribbon going down it. Anybody know what that is? Comment down below if you guys know what that is. I can't tell what it is. It's beautiful. It's even got the little uh, things going around the side of it. Oh, yeah. Sean. Sean's a man when it comes to metal detecting. Did you know Steve? Got a little small little thing. Years ago. Heroes. Clear hero seal. He got a lot little half pint strap side flask, Melanthes, Herring and Carpenter, Faro China, Kaiser Bottling Works, Dr. King's New Discovery, a couple Melanthes, Herring and Carpenters, Bitter Quill, nice brandy with like a uh, sunshine, sunburst design going around it, big Rigney, Rigney Packers, maple syrup. Chamberlain's cough remedy, some kind of like a uh, flag topper, I think it is. Old flag topper, small little Colgate company, two different size, three and one oils, sharpened dome, little chemical, Whitehurst, blown in mold, Cumberland Brewing, real nice Truett Drug Company. I end up with four clay marbles, a miner's tag with a 14 on it. And then Sean got this really, really pretty crock with like a green, like a green glaze on it. Beautiful. But that's our finds for today, guys. About four hours of digging. Not a bad day at all. We're going to uh, get out of here. We'll see you on the next digging adventure. And they flew in and even tried to See you guys. What's up, guys? Trick Diggers coming to you Saturday morning. We're on our way back over to the river dump. It's me. Got my buddy Dale Liebfried, one of my YouTube subscribers, crossing the river with Corey right now. And uh, my buddy Andrew, I think, is going to come up here in a little bit later and dig with us. So let's flip the camera around and watch these guys cross the river.
So you can see the fellows are making it across the river now. It's gonna be an absolutely gorgeous day, I think mid 80s. We're gonna actually start a new hole today. We, me and Corey did a little bit of exploring last time we was here with Sean and Corey's dad. And uh, we found a spot that looks real promising. So we're gonna poke a new hole today. Dale, what's up, brother man? Dale, where are you coming from? Pittsburgh, PA. We got Dale Liebfried, one of my YouTube subscribers. Long time buddy. Appreciate you coming out today, man. Appreciate you having me. Uh, we're hoping to get Dale on some good glass today. Some nice old stuff, bottles. Definitely clay marbles are going to come out. Guaranteed. There's Corey posing in the river. <laughs> Yesterday was leg day, so I'm still a little shaky, but I think I'll be all right. Optimus Prime, he said he feels like. <laughs> Probably a good battle. But what we're gonna do is uh, just walk downstream just a little ways and uh, start a new hole. So once we get everything all set up, I'll turn the camera back on. All right, guys, stay tuned for the action. All right, guys, I got a little pocket here. I got a soda and a beer. And right over here to my left, Dale's got what looks to be a beer getting ready to be extracted. He says he's never dug a straight side Coke, so we're really hoping to get him on one of them today. Sure. Nice German, German brewing company from Cumberland. Around 1915. Nice, brother. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two right while I got you live. I think this is just a beer here. A broken beer, top knocked off of it. Cumberland Brewing, and then here comes a soda bottle here. You got soda already? Yeah. Herring? It is, yeah, Herring and Carpenter. Yeah. Herring and Carpenter soda blown and mold from Cumberland. All right, guys, see you back. Bottles are popping, guys. I just pulled out a real nice ice blue Melampies. Dale just pulled out a real nice Larkin Company from Buffalo. Yeah, a nice blown and mold around 1910. Sweet. Put that Corey has something in the hole right now. Big mason jar. Check that out. Hopefully it's bad. You want the root cutters? Maybe. It yeah. looks like a big one. I probably should get the root cutters. We'll go get them. Where are they at? In that uh, bucket. In the bottom of that bucket, just slip that bag out right under it. Oh, trying to. It's just a bucket. He had to dive in the bucket and get it, guys. Hold on a second. We're going to get this roots out of the way for you. Hopefully, we got a nice patent mason or something really cool. Maybe a fruit jar or something. We're going to go ahead and do live. Ace Hardware's finest right here. These things are gold. There she is. Now what are we looking at? Come on, have some embossing on her. You should be able to get that out with your hands. It's a little wipey. Oh, it looks full. It's, oh, it's full, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a little lip chip. Does it say something? Oh, man. It's a Marion? The ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> I definitely, nice yeah, day. but I'd still hang on to that. Wash it off in the river real quick. That thing's beautiful. That's a nice mason jar, Corey. Definitely worth hanging on to. Rick Diggers, bottle in the hole, right there, live action. Oh, that's pretty, man. Pretty ball blue, it looks like. Awful. It says ball Mason. Patton, 1858. Nice, man. One quart. Sweet. Not a bad find at all. Oh, 
All right, guys, we're gonna keep working at it. Andrew just got here, my other buddy. Appreciate you coming out, Andrew. <laughs> you must be camera shy too, but we're just gonna keep working at it, guys. See you back. All right, guys, I got quite a pocket. I got a weird looking thing right there with, looks like a Phoenix, Phoenix closure. <laughs> Something amber right there above it. Another sauce or something up above it. Nice little pocket. Corey's gonna record me pulling them all out. Here we go. <laughs> Don't hold it. Don't hold, your, <laughs> Don't hold you. Don't hold your finger over the speaker. Are you ready? Here it comes. A little Phoenix. Catch a weird closure on that one. that looks like a uh scotty's emulsion that's what i'm calling I'm calling scotty's yep that's what it looks like uh. dang it's pretty big scott's emulsion yeah it's a machine made one but nice with lime and soda and then i got something amber right here let's go ahead and get it live there's a little scraper tool. Up there, maybe. Broke up of it. You see it good? I might have Coca-Cola. Maybe a beer. Yeah, beer. Wedged in the root. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's just a beer. Uh, here it comes. It's lit now, it's coming. Cumberland brew. Alright. Well, That's it right there out of that pocket, guys. See back? Trev might have, it's definitely, it's definitely a uh, Duffy. Yeah, it looks like it. Here it comes. Yep. Yeah, the Duffy Malt Whiskey Company. Nice. It is blown and mold one too. Patent 1886. Heck yeah, check that out. Let's go ahead and pull this other beer out. I think it's just Cumberland, but might as well grab it. Yep. Yeah, Cumberland Brewing. Another pocket for the trail. See you guys back. Guys, Andrew just pulled out his first ever Melampy Bottling Works. Yeah, brother. Hey, hold that thing up in the in the sky like that. You can see it real nice. Nice ice blue, light ice blue. Heck yeah, man. Nice. Yeah. Dale's got a bottle in the hole, so we're gonna go over here live. Catch up. See the live catch up pool. <laughs> <laughs> Corey just popped out a German. Bottles flying out like crazy. Andrew just got over here, so you can see he's a little behind pace with us, but. He's getting into the pocket now, too. Corey's got something coming out, a druggist. Corey's got a druggist coming out. The reveal. Nope. Oh, a slick. But I'll show you guys something that ain't. Look here. This just actually fell out of my feet. I was, I was uh, shoveling my fill that just collapsed down. Look at that. A nice, small Truett Drug Company out of Cumberland. Real nice early blown them old druggist. Love it. One I don't have too. See back. All right, guys, I'm pulling Melampies out the yin yang. There's there's about my fourth one right there. Real pretty, pretty guys. But I just had one fall out of the ceiling that I have not dug before. Check this out. This is a. It says. Here, record me, Corey. I just said a good show. It, about it says W.E. Ward and Brothers. Grisfield, Maryland. What in the world? That's a nice looking soda bottle. I don't even know where Grisfield, Maryland's at. Or Crisfield? Yeah, it might be Chris. Crisfield, yeah. Maryland. Slug plated soda. Awesome, man. That is nice. Yep. Heck yeah, guys. See you back on the next pull.
Guys, Dale just popped out a really cool drug. Let's check this out. Victor liver syrup from the Victor Remedies Company out of Frederick, Maryland. Heck yeah, brother. Nice find. You can see I got a beer hanging out and a druggist or something. A couple sodas. What you got, Corey? Nothing. Nothing? You got anything, Andrew? No. Not yet? All right, guys, we're going to keep working at it. Nice find, man. See you. All right, guys, we're live in the hole. Corey has what looks to be some kind of like an octagonal croc. Very, very neat looking. What's oh, that? It's embossed. Oh, an embossed druggist? What is it? Yeah. Oh, it's one of those uh, reliable, accurate, prompt, and reliable. Oh, it doesn't say the name of it? No. It's got to be local, though. They're cool. Yeah, I think they're local. Let's get to this croc. It should be ready. You should be able to get it with your hand. There it there is. It is. It, those are called weirs, ain't they? I think. The weir croc? Cool. Yeah, it's full. It's got stuff on the Oh, it's stamped. Patent by... I can't tell what it says. Lot, lots and... Shram? Yeah, Lots and Shram Company. Lutz and Shram. You guys know anything about that? Real nice croc fruit jug thing Corey just pulled out. Dude, that's sweet looking. Heck yeah, man. Very nice. I think I pulled a croc. Clean, too. Kind of yeah, you have. You're the croc maniac. There it is. You and Sean. Nice croc for Corey Wellens. You can see he's got... I'll go ahead and record this little sauce or something real quick. Go ahead and pull it out if you want to. Not a hard pack up in here. Hey, you want to break it or something? Like this is a chunk of metal. Usually it falls around down. Oh, yeah. Definitely is. What's that weird thing? Just an olive oil? Catch up. Yay! <laughs> Alright, guys. That's See what? Popped out a nice, uh, Real nice light blue keys being Madison. This one is from Impler. Impler PA. Nice pickup, brother. Heck yeah. Let's check out the hole we got going on under here. Corey's, mine, and Dale's. Little, little Dale's. And then Andrew, he's catching up to us. He's got some serious rootage going on, though. Oh, yeah. But once you get through that stuff, guys, it pays off. Is that a diamond? No. Uh, see that? Guys, Corey's got a big square in the hole right there. Ready to come out. Here it comes. Oh, say something. Something? Nothing. Oh, man. Big old slick chemical bottle. Dag nabbit. It's pretty, though. You can see I got a bottle there. There's a bottle there. There's a something here. There's a bottle here. I got bottles everywhere. Let's go ahead and get this broken whiskey flask. Ugh. I don't know what this is. Let's go ahead and get this. I thought it was a ketchup, but it's a it's a big med. I think it's a big med. Here it comes. Oh, it is a big med, but it's a slick. Dad gum, that would have been nice. I know it. That's like the liver syrup size that I do. You got a stopper? Where's it at? Oh, yeah, look what Corey just pulled out, guys. That's almost the same color as that Keysby. Oh, that's cool. That's what beautiful. A stopper. That is so neat. Nice, brother. Heck yeah. Wow. Sweet. That's cool. All right, guys, well, we're going to keep on working. See Guys, that? bottles are popping today. Look, I got like five or six Melampies, three or four Herring and Carpenters. Just popped out that really nice milk glass candy container. Got another Rigney's, Duffy's Malt Whiskey, couple Doll Heads, tons and tons of beers. Really nice Crisfield Maryland soda. And then check it out under here. Just fell out the ceiling on me. I already wiped it off. Thought it was a Melampies, but no. It's a Kaiser Bottling Works from Kaiser, West Virginia. Check that out, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Corey pulled one of these a couple of days ago up the river a little ways. 
when Sean was digging with us. But check that out, real nice find. All right, we're gonna keep working at it. See you back. As you can see, we're, we're up under the bank about three or four feet now, but we've got a big layer of roots above us holding everything up, so we're good. But check this out, I just popped out right here. Look at this. Yeah, nice poison. Poison. <laughs> I can't even talk today. A real nice cobalt poison. Small, small little poison bottle. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Heck, yeah, that's nice. Real nice. See you back. Guys, look at the color of this coning. They all just popped out. The color of a shirt almost. Oh my gosh, man. That thing is beautiful, Dale. That's killing me. Heck yeah. That's a hell of a score. Clean it off in the creek Why real quick. Oh, nice. Clone and mold. Probably why. I want to see the color of this ink. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's like that one I sold in the auction with the mountain on the bottom of it. Heck yeah. Wow. Look at that, guys. That's pretty, beautiful. pretty sweet. Yeah. Nice ink, man. Real nice. Sweet. Good job, brother man. Nice. Guys, we're back in the hole live, and Corey says he thinks he has an embossed gilka. Heck yeah. We see our buddy Digger Dave dig these over at uh, his jug dump a good bit. We haven't dug too many of them out of our area, but we think Corey's got one in the hole. Yeah, that one is broke. Woo! Look out. A little bit of collapse happening. Get I'm it. pulling it. Get it. Yep, it's embossed. Nice, man. Oh, that's beautiful. Heck yes, yeah, like a honey, honey amber. Take it out and clean it real quick. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that's that. J. A. Gilka. <laughs> Triple distilled. It's Something's about to happen. I was watching out. Blown too. Yeah, take it, clean it off real quick. It's a nice find, brother. We're pulling some good bottles out today, guys. In the new, new hole we decided to open up today. Oh, that thing is beautiful, brother. Beautiful. What's it say, Schwitzen or something? <coughs> Schutzen. Strength number nine like or something? People, like three some people. Some kind of crest on yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. J. That's J. a Gilson nice Burn bottle. In. Heck yeah, yeah man. man. Come over here on this side and let me get a picture of you. Home. Check it out, guys. Dale just pulled out a nice Bumstead's worm syrup. Kills 100 worms. Children cry for more. Woo! Nice, brother. Heck yeah. See you back. Guys, you can see the crew diligently working just under the bank right here, following the layers up. All kinds of sodas, druggists, thousands of beers, a couple bromos, poisons, doll heads. And look here what I just popped out. A pistol. A nice little pistol, probably number eight or nine of the year, I think. It's got some stuff stuck in it. I'm going to take it out here in the river and clean it off. See how she looks, but definitely a pistol. Heck yeah. And... Two different size truets now. You can see here, two different size truet drug companies of Cumberland. About four or five marbles. 
Heck yeah, what a day it's been. I'm gonna go hop in the river and cool off and get back to digging. But, all right guys, see ya. Guys, the day's going great. Corey just popped out a uh, real nice trade pipe bowl there. Another different variant of the keys being Madison. I think I found the lid to that crock that he dug earlier. And uh, he said he just popped out a amber straight side Coca-Cola. Check that out, guys. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice, pretty light honey amber one, too. From Cumberland. Yeah, that's a pretty one, brother. Heck, yeah. All right. Coca-Cola. See you back. Guys, Corey just popped out another incredible bottle. Let me show you this thing first. This is cool. This is the A. Colburn Company out of Philadelphia. And Corey's freaking out under here. Let's go see. Wow. What you got? <laughs> oh, man. Look at that, guys. Yeah. Poison. Skull and crossbones poison. Nice, brother. Very, very cool. Now, I had to pull 8,000 beers to get that. 8,000 beers and a skull and crossbones. And sad's done. See's back. Guys, Corey has a bitters in the hole. Bitters in the hole. Don't rip the top off of it. Here it comes. I think it is an 18 buck. Is it? That's celery compound. Pain celery compound? Nice, man. Heck yeah. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Pain yeah. celery combine for the core wellings. Nice. Sweet. We got about one more hour left to dig, so we're going to get popping. See you back. All right, guys, this week's adventure was over. We came out to the river dump twice. We did really good both times, but this time right here, we absolutely just destroyed it. There's uh, the spot that me, Andrew, Corey, and Dale just dug for about five, six hours. It goes under the bank about 10 feet, but you can see the massive cluster of roots that we were running under. It wasn't falling on us at all. We're gonna go a little quick rundown of the finds real quick. We'll go over Corey's first. He got a really nice J.A. Gilka. Where are they out of? Berlin. Berlin? Nice. He got a incredible little skull and crossbones poison right there. Absolutely awesome. Who makes that one? Sharpened Dome. Is it Sharpened Dome? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Oh, you got a Myersdale Brewing? Quite yeah. a few Herring and Carpenters. <clears throat> yeah, two different variant Keysby Madisons. Are they both from Embler? I think. Or Ambler, however you say it. Yeah. Yep, Ambler. Ambler PA. <laughs> yep, Ambler PA. A couple Bromos in medium size. He did get the only straight side Coca Cola today. Nice pain celery bitters. What's that? Nothing. No. You got a cool stopper. It says Freeman Brothers Company, FB. Two of the uh, Cobalt Square inks. A milk glass. We think it's an ink, either an ink or a toothpick holder. Probably is an ink. It's got a little bit of uh, paint still left on it. Very, very cool. Something we don't dig very often. Real nice the ball mason's patent november 30th 1858 and the crock which i think i got the lid to it but it might not be i did dig a lid it does fit on it but i don't know it looks good all right now down to my finds i also got a sweet little poison right here wyeth poison and a handful of marbles let me show them to you real quick. Got a real nice swirl right there. 
four clays and a brown Bennington. I had a blue Bennington, but I don't know where it went to. I got a little tiny, I think this might be a pearl. What do you guys think on that? It's got like a little clasp on it. But letting it dry with this. Pretty cool. Oh, I got a couple of bromos. I got a cobalt spool link. I got a nice little milk glass shaker or some kind of candy container. I got a Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. Some kind of cool little lid with some flowers or some kind of design fancy around it. A Hayes Hair Health Scott's Emulsion. A real nice blowing the mold Duffy's malt whiskey. I did end up with about eight Melamphys. Also ended up with two different <laughs> size, real hard to find Truett drug companies. Out of Cumberland, real happy with that. About four or five doll heads, doll pieces. Big one right there, smaller one there. Little Stroh's, Stroh's bottled beer. Pretty cool topper for a Stroh bottle. Got another one of these Ellie's Cream Balm from New York. Hay Fever and Katara. Medium Bromo there. And then I got a Kaiser Bottling Works from Kaiser, West Virginia. Just like Corey Doug um, on Monday, I think it was. Without the K on the base. And then this guy right here, this W.E. Ward and Brothers, Chris Field, Maryland. Anybody ever seen that one before? Andrew tried to look it up on Google earlier and could not even find a Chris Field, Maryland. So check that out. Very cool bottle. Probably my favorite one today. But yeah, it was an absolutely incredible day. Let's go over here and check out what Dale got. He already put most of his away, I think. He's he's in a hurry. Got to get on the road. He's got a nice little drive. Yeah, I didn't show this one yet, guys. Dale pulled out a really nice Union Bottling Works. Longer varying than what we ever dug before. Check that out. That is beautiful. Absolutely killer to find. He also got this awesome, awesome emerald green cone ink blown in mold look at that my lord that thing is beautiful it's a carter's base embossed yeah carter's 1897 made in usa look at the color on that thing outstanding you got a victor two of the uh victor liver or victor syrup from the Victor Remedies Company out of Frederick, Maryland. He's got a handful of slicks and little opium vials and flask and stuff. Some wines, a, a Garrett, uh, Garrett wine. Big old nice light olive green wine. Couple druggists in there. He's got his bag full of beers. He's loading up on a lot of stuff that me and Corey don't keep anymore, but he's really excited. Did you have a good time, Dale? We're glad you came out and dug with us, man. Andrew, glad you came out and dug with us. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. That is it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time, guys.